Hi everyone, in this video you will learn how to solve power problem in a mobile PCB and this type of power problem in this mobile PCB is one of the complicated faults in a mobile PCB. So take a look at the phone, you can see the phone seems like the phone is working, seems like everything is okay as you can see the charging sign and after a few seconds it will show 0% so this phone doesn't power on and if you, even if you leave the phone for a week on charge you will keep seeing the zero percent the battery is okay yeah so we are going to look into the problem but can you tell me where you think the problem is coming from in the comment section before we go on solving the fault so the mobile phone is not powering on like i said and um, at the end we will solve the problem and you will be shocked to see yeah so first i set my multimeter in continuity test mode and uh, I perform a cold testing in a mobile PCB like I always do. So even though the phone seems to be okay, there is no leakage from the signal that it showed, I still perform my cold testing. And I can see a power leakage fault in the mobile PCB. So at this point, I know exactly where I need to start troubleshooting. And I decided that we will troubleshoot this phone using the knowledge from my new book, The Block Diagram Master. So with the block diagram master you learn about things like this how you can troubleshoot this type of fault very easily so what we are going to do we are going to get into the page in the book that talks about current leakage in a mobile pcb so as you can see page 71 in the block diagram master book it says what are the circuits related to power leakage fault in the mobile pcb looking at the diagram from the book you can see i mentioned the battery that can be the battery connector and the circuit in general is the standby circuit you can see the charging ic the vph line and you can see main power supply so these main power supply components are components like the power manager ic the wi-fi ic you see have the rf the the signal amplifier ic so after looking at the diagram we are going to look for a particular line here and we will use the line to work on the mobile pcb it says if you have a short circuit or current leakage you need to check the vbat line first let's listen to that line it's very important then check the charging ic section if there is no short check the vph and other components like the power manager section very important check the rf amplifier ic section in general and check the wi-fi section you get it so that's very important you will see what i'm talking about in this video and we will use just this line to work on this mobile pcb okay now that we have checked and you know exactly where you need to find the fault in this mobile pcb we are going to go into the mobile pcb and do our normal troubleshooting so i'm using my ic polishing tool to locate the first standby circuit in the mobile pcb then check so i have to remove that shield and that if you have been watching my videos you will see that the method new method that i'm using to remove the shield i just cut out one corner to create a hole so that i can send in my tweezer when hitting the mobile pcb then hitting the shield just like that and uh, very smooth just sending my teaser and you always have to make sure you don't send it uh, too much inside as you can see there are some capacitors that i touch i just adjust them and uh, everything is good so this is the first standby circuit of the mobile pcb and the charging ic and the uh, backlight ic is located on that circuit i check i've lost the part of that video i film with a lot of cameras so <laughs> there are times I really lost a lot, so I checked the charging circuit and it was okay. So I had to locate the RF circuit of the mobile PCB. Here we have the RF amplifier, and it was clear that there was some corrosion, something like that. And uh, looking at the PCB right here, I can see a damaged component already. I don't know if you can see that. I can see a dam one damaged component here. I tested, and yeah, we have a full current leakage right there. And uh, yeah, take a look at what we, what we are going to do here. It's very simple. So I applied my short powder, which is rosin flux, to the mobile PCB and I inject voltage. You see where I inject that voltage? I inject 3.7 volt right there. So that's a, 
uh, high line the capacitor you need to know if it's a power line capacitor so i removed that capacitor that just set it up and there was still short as you can see i'm testing the mobile pcb and yeah it's actually shorting so like you know we know how we do this very simple so as you can see that beside the RF amplifier as set in the, the, the note as you can see that that capacitor is burning up I just inject the voltage in the same capacitor and the other one which was on the right uh, heated up just like that and so I just had to remove it again as you can see you'll see what I'm doing right there with my soldering iron So I just have to remove the capacitor, then test the PCB to see if that works. Just like that. So well, the book that we used earlier, you can get it right now. So that's my new book, which is called the Block Diagram Master. So it's study every block diagram of a mobile PCB, the power supplies, the signal lines, and it's very good and very cheap if you're in Cameroon you can actually get the hard copy but if you are not you can get just the soft copy for now and the soft copy is just 25 dollars you can check the link in the video description or the link on my bio if in case you are watching this on TikTok you can get also my video courses I have a basic level professional level course and this professional level book so I tested the yeah I just have to Check and the phone is charging as you can see so let's switch on the phone and see if we solve the problem and uh, everything is good just like that and very smooth you can send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen if you want us to chat about my courses about my book before you get it